luxury beachfront hotels in Santa Barbara have a new low-cost neighbor. A hostel opened up its doors over the weekend, just steps from the water in the funk zone. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri got a tour today. And John, the hostel offers an affordable alternative for visitors. And the Wayfair Hostel is nestled in a premier spot in Santa Barbara where downtown meets the waterfront and the unique funk zone area all together. It took years to get this project off the ground, but once it opened the doors over the weekend, nearly every bed was immediately sold out. Uh, operating a hostel is uh, really more about the uh, social experience for the guest. Uh, they come expecting to meet people. It's upscale and down to earth. The new Santa Barbara Wayfarer Hostel on Montecito Street. Just a couple of blocks from the beach. It is a, a beautiful hostel that really um, evokes the funk zone in Santa Barbara, but it also is a place where you can come in and get a bed in one of our common rooms. Uh, that's affordable compared to renting a hotel room in the area. You get a comfy feeling early on at the bar stools when you register. It's next to a large kitchen that everyone can share. Uh, breakfast brings everyone together, and that's a good chance for people to meet each other, introduce each other, and then throughout the day you'll see them meeting up here to go out or hanging out down here to play board games. Inside, there are 101 beds in 31 rooms. Some are common rooms with bunk beds and a bathroom in the room, not down the hall like you see at some hostels. The individual rooms have a full-size bed, and if you have a child, they can sleep in this upper-level fold-out bed. Prices range from $59 to $240, and it's not just for traveling college kids. You will draw some of the older generation. They want to be around the energy that youth brings. <laughs> These college students from Sweden compared the Wayfarer to hostels they've been to in Europe. They are pretty much disgusting and this is fresh <laughs> and beautiful. Uh, she walked in the room first and she came out the door. She was screaming. <laughs> so uh, she's like, oh, it's so beautiful. And it was the first thing we did was to like Skype with our friends back at home. <laughs> they even got a picture with the mayor who told us the State Coastal Commission issued some strict orders when this hostel was part of a requirement for a higher-end Parker Family Waterfront Hotel project nearby. You needed a combination of prices available to anyone who wanted to stay around the beachfront. So that's what this is supposed to represent. It's also in a prized location. And the Funk Zone, which has really undergone a renaissance in the last several years and has really become one of the big drivers in this downtown area. So for that grab-and-go traveler who doesn't spend a lot of time in their room and maybe wants to interact with other people from around the world and just hit the road, this is really an affordable option for them when they come through Santa Barbara. In Santa Barbara, John Palminteri, News Channel 3. All right, a great use for that prime spot. The Ventura County Met